what's up guys today we're gonna work on the title effect now to get started let's head over to our effects section which is right here if you don't have this part open no worry just go up to the top part right here where there's a tab that say effect library just click on to this tab and you should have this session open and when you have this session open I want you to go down to title and you notice there is uh, many other animation that you can use for your title but today we're gonna work with this one right here so let's drag this into our timeline okay now we have this into our timeline this part right here is gonna load up uh, when it turn blue when you you'll be able to play it much smoothly but at the moment you can just scrub it through now let's uh let's scrub it through really quick okay you know this uh our title is working okay but it's pretty short so it seemed like no more than a second it's just gonna show up and then disappear so that is the problem that we're gonna be working with today we're gonna make this effect go a little longer okay so to do that first thing you want to do is first make sure the title is inputted so let's just say for my it's then title effect okay um, let's resize this really quick all right and then let's go to our second line and I uh, type in duration now make sure you have this input it first because what we're gonna do now we're gonna have to convert it to something um, because the reason for that we don't have a lot of function here which extend the duration I don't see it right here I just see some basic transformation and stuff so now what we want to do now is convert this to a compound clip that way it gives you more um, function to work with so if you right click onto this clip you notice it doesn't have a speed control like you normal have with the video clip in order to have that function so what you want to do is select this first line right here it's a new compound clip all right and go create now this will convert this into a video clip I believe um, but when you right click it now notice they have a speed control right here okay so before I extend the duration of this clip I want to talk a little bit more about the function within the speed control so let me bring down a clip really quick let's just say this one right here okay let's, let's take out the, the sound for now we don't need it okay now okay on this clip you notice as I scroll up do the bot the camera movement change to this part right here okay you notice right I'm gonna do a cut right here this is pretty much our ending okay I just scrub do this is the beginning and this is the ending remember that it's very important so let's right click this clip and change the speed control for this clip all right let's just say 30 percent okay now you may have when you first open your speed control by default maybe you have something like this so what you want to do is you want to click on this stretch to fit and you want to click on this okay um the reason for this if you have a clip right here it actually move with it 
so that way you don't override it and stretch to fit is pretty much a stretch to reach to the ending so let's just say you don't have this two uh, box click when you press change it actually do nothing except that it does slow down to 30% but however you know that this is not the ending to find the ending you're gonna have to s stretch it over until you find that ending maybe a little bit more let me go a little bit more there our ending is pretty much right here just right when the body change this is the pretty much ending this is the the length of the clip that I need to be before we see the ending when you slow down to 30% now let's go back okay now the clip is at 100% again I press ctrl Z to undo everything so why now it's at 100% say I want to do at 30% again this time okay it's at 30% but this time I'm going to click on this box in this box okay now when I press change it automatic help me sort my clip and extend the length so I can have it to the end you know this pretty much I scrub do and this is the ending there you go so I just wanna bring this up to your attention to make sure you understand what those two box meant uh, it's very useful when you edit in clip, uh, you do slow mo and you then you do like speed ramp. This this is what you will be using it very often. So that way you don't have to find where where the next frame you left off. This just automatically go to that frame. Okay, now let's get this out of the way. Now, so like I was saying earlier, this clip is pretty short. I want to extend it a little longer. Now that I can, after I convert this to a compound clip, okay, so let's just slow it down to 30%. Okay, I have this check, I have this check. Now it's then, pretty much this is the 30%. So you notice it's a little longer, the title come out a little slower. Okay, and notice it and right here. Okay, now you might be happy with this, but let's just say you're not and um, you want to keep this part a little longer. So one way I do it, I just cut in between. Let's say this right here and I cut like maybe right here, right? And then I bring this out of the way. So I, I move to right here I right click on the clip I go to uh, chain clip speed and this time I want freeze frame okay and I click on change and then this this frame is pretty much freeze and this one it got cut in half but uh, this one you don't need it you just delete this now all you have to do now is just extend it Extend it now. You have a pretty long animation before it and right here. Okay, makes sense. Uh, why did I even do freeze frame? Well, let's just say you didn't do freeze frame. Okay, there's no freeze frame, so you have this part here. You can't just extend this. Because when you extend this, it's just gonna extend back to the clip where you left off. So see, right here, it, it goes away already. It doesn't really extend it to this part. That's why you have to freeze frame it. That way uh, you can... Uh, so let me right click and freeze frame this again. That way this is a still frame. It's not gonna go nowhere. All this is still frame. You see, no matter where I scroll, it, it, it stay at this part. 
So at this part, all you have to do is just snap. You just need to click on this magnet right here. You can just snap it here. And then snap it here. There. Now you have a very long uh, title animation. So this is one of the way you can uh, extend your uh, title animation. Yeah, I hope this video helped. I see you guys next time.